Oh my gosh, it's working. I'm always amazed that it actually works. But I'm glad because I have so many amazing things to show you, particularly around really unique social media assets. And hey, hey, Fu Man, what's happening? Hey, Fu Man, hey, are you partying it up over there? Oh my goodness, I found all these really cool tools for social media. And so I was just going to do a little tutorial and screen share, but I want to know what's the latest. What's happening? Do you have a new roommate now? I want to know all the details. What's going on? Sunday fun day. Yeah, it's so windy here. It's crazy windy. Insanely windy. So I'm staying inside. Even though I went out to um, try to fly the new drone that I got, but it was so windy that I could not get it off the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I was going to call you today actually, because I have an update. I have two updates. One, I thought maybe you wouldn't really be, I don't know. I texted you and then we won't go into it because I'm streaming on five platforms right now. Um, what type did you get? Oh, I got the DJI Mini 2 with my stimulus. Hey, uh, hey Drift, what's going on? So yeah, I got the DJI Mini 2. Hey Mary. Um, and it's it was pretty hard to set up to get configured and I had to do a firmware, firmware update for it. And in, in addition to doing the firmware update, I also had to reconfigure the compass so that took um that took like a good hour to get it up to the point where I could actually fly it but then the winds were I have this app called windy.com I got it for sailing and um, it measures the wind wherever you are so I measured the wind and it was like 19 knots and it won't fly uh, it says it goes up to 24 knots or 24 mile an hour winds, but there were gusts that I'm sure were stronger than that. So um, I just didn't go forward with it. I was just like trying to make it go off the ground, but it wouldn't go off the ground. So I have to try again when it's not 20 mile an hour winds. Pretty fun though. Oh, you forgot to get back to me. Oh. Congrats on the news. Oh, you have the DJI Mini 2. But you were overwhelmed? Oh, okay. Well, gosh, you know, I'm about to upload the video that I that I took of it. And I found a couple of really good resources. So we should we should at least talk or FaceTime and try to get your drone going. Because I learned quite a few things. The the thing about YouTube videos is that I mean I do this too. I'm totally guilty of this. Because I don't like editing videos that I don't get paid for editing. So I'm just like, add details. It's a YouTube video. What do you want? <laughs> like a PhD and my YouTube channel? No, you're not going to get that. <laughs> I, I only like editing when I'm getting paid for it or if it's a very short video. <laughs> so um, my YouTube videos are not going to be anybody's guide instruction guide let's put it that way but just simple things like turning it on and off or turning the drone on and turning it off turning the controller on and turning it off i found that i didn't get solid instruction from youtube or even the dji website was good and they have little videos to get you going but um it's kind of tough so yeah don't worry about not getting back to me. I'm going to text you because I've got a couple of things. I don't know. Yeah, I've got a couple of things. We'll we'll talk. You were too, too overwhelmed by the drone thing. Yeah, I mean, it's con it gets confusing. It truly does. Not going to lie. It it's overwhelming. It's really overwhelming. And I tried to film myself while trying to concentrate on 
setting up the drone and it was just complete. <laughs> it wasn't really that helpful, actually. Truth be known. So let's see here. Um, I'm going to try to see something. I just want to see what's going on here. Let's see. I'm going to search for my myself and see what this looks like. Oh, it says I'm doing a live video. I'm going to watch myself on live video, which might not be that great of an idea. Two viewers, me and Fu Man. So what I wanted to show you um, and kind of stream on my YouTube channel was this screen share because I found a couple of really interesting things. Number one is Adobe stock. It's $30 a month, which is, it's a little steep, but, and, and the reason why I haven't quit Adobe stock in a long time is that my 10 assets a month seem to just accumulate and I don't want to lose those stock footage, um, like licenses that I have. So I just keep subscribing to it. So this month I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to really use this and actually make something cool. So I'm just going to turn on my screen share so that folks can see. All right, let's see. Full screen share. And I'm going to turn myself into a little, a little ball and put myself over here in the corner. This does look a little weird. I mean, I'm going to make myself smaller. It's just, this thing's a little weird, but, um, yeah, just, just know I am here, even though you can only see the top of my forehead. Um, this is what I made. This is in Canva. I'm going to make this a little bigger. So it fills up the screen. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Okay. So this is, I made some highlight covers for my Instagram and I used these and I'll show you what they are. These tech elements. I actually went into, um, here, let me get rid of this. I went into Adobe stock. I got these elements. I got like this design pack for Adobe Illustrator and I did have to extract them one by one. Here's another example of one. Um, they have really cool templates. This is a story template in their frames for Instagram stories. I mean, this is just, this is a lot. Here's all the text that it had. I mean, I don't know how people make Instagram stories in this or Adobe XD. Like, oh my gosh, this was just driving me crazy. But I took all the text out so that I can make frames and then export them. That did not really work. But uh, let's see if I can get this. Um, Adobe Stock AI. Let's see if this is, the file does not exist. All right, well, I cannot open it since it doesn't exist. Here was another thing where I was able to grab this from Adobe stock and you can see that it's got like all these crazy elements and again you know it's just the endless grouping but if you take the text out these actually looked pretty cute so I took the text here just totally got rid of it and then made like these Instagram stories templates out of this and again, this was included with my um, Instagram, or I mean, Adobe stock membership. I'm gonna say don't save, don't save. And then it connects to your um, Adobe account. See, this looks rad, I love this. And then you can use this with Canva and it's got little elements here and stuff. Some of them look silly without text. So if you take all the text away, it just looks like frames. And then here's the phone thing, but you could change that too. You can change these little elements. And, uh, you know, it looks, it looks better with text. You can see how much of a difference 
creative text mix. Uh, all right. And then if I go to open here, it connects to my creative cloud and you can see if I go to my creative cloud, where I have all my templates that are saved here. And there are quite a number of really groovy looking templates. This is one of my favorites. Um, what else do I have here that I haven't used? And again, you know, they're kind of, like I really liked this one. This is like a frame thing. All right, update. God. Uh, I actually made a really cute story out of this, you know, five ways to know if you're a creative person or whatever. And these look really nice. So it's easy to put in my frames and stuff, my own little pictures. And it looks really cute. But when I go in here to make a story and one post, it can take so long because these just, these take a long time to fill in, even though it's a template. So I'll go to don't save and then I can just open from my creative cloud, which I really like the amount of space they give you. And I have other stock templates here from a couple of years ago. And some of them look really good. Like here's one, I don't know. Okay, so this is a PSD. It's nice and colorful. Where'd it go? Oh, it's opening. This one is kind of, it does kind of have like a kid's theme to it. Let's see. And let's see if we go to post We'll go to this last row. Story eight. So that's story eight. And then you can kind of open this up, your image. And then instead of this picture, I would just replace it or grab another, I guess, file import File open, yeah, import. Where did it go? Import. Oh man, I don't know, man. Where am I gonna get a picture from? Right here? There's a client picture. Where's a picture I can use? I guess I'll use this one. Oh, that doesn't help because it's a PNG. So this is a client photo and I guess it's, I can't remember how to do this. Oh man, nobody can know everything. All right, let's say I go like this. Okay, hit return. Real great, real great. See if it does it now. Do you have to hit save? Oh yeah. And then it's got a filter over it. So these are all filtered photos. Let's see if I go to story seven. Okay, let's see. Where'd Fu Man go? Fu Man, this is gonna be kind of boring for you, probably. Um, oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I think these are pretty cool. These are some of the templates that come with, that you can download. But then the other thing that really helped is that I grabbed this Adobe Illustrator file. Here's my AI, AI app. And I'll go to open recent and maybe it'll be here. Maybe it's here. I don't know. Okay, yes. No. Okay, that's something else. Whatever. 
It's just, I thought this was cute. Doesn't help to illustrate my point that I got some hand-drawn tech elements. But here they are, and they're pretty cute. We got the VR headset, Apple Watch, 3D glasses, the Wi-Fi symbol, and I use them for my Instagram stories highlights. And uh, yeah, they worked out really well. I'll just close out of this. Um, don't save. Where did it go? I'm just gonna grab a, I've got to um, minimize. No, not minimize, come back. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Go two screens. Well, all right, I'll make myself bigger while I'm here. So, <laughs> join you again. Um, so if I go to stock.adobe.com. And then just log in with the username and password and then you can just find so many sweet templates. Uh, another thing that I found that was really interesting, kind of off the, off the topic, but still kind of on the topic, is that I found T-Mobile, for example, I know this is like a cell phone thing, but I have two phones now because... T-Mobile has this plan that is a pay-as-you-go plan that's only $15 a month and it includes like a very small amount of data, but it's unlimited talk and text. So you can have any phone that you want to have. And I just have my iPhone 11 Max. I replaced it with the, with the 12, but I was able to pop in my SIM card here and use the pay-as-you-go phone number as a second factor. And the reason why that's kind of important, I, I prefer to use an authenticator app, but um, if you use a phone number as a second factor and it's a pay-as-you-go, it's like kind of better than using a business account, even though I would strongly discourage using your primary phone number as the second factor because SIM cards get just swapped quite often and it happens at the carrier level. But with this $15 a month T-Mobile plan, it seems like for things that I don't want to put on the Authenticator app, um, it's a pretty good second choice. So I did want to mention that as a follow-up to another video that I did here. Okay. So yeah, I mean, here we go. I've got 65 assets left and it's got a ton of different templates. Um, so if we go to, it has stock images, yeah, where you can get kind of these, um, To call it templates and different illustrations stock music and I think it's worth it there are a lot of like free pick and smart mock-up which I really like yellow.com I think is another one or yellow something also another really good one but there's something really cool about getting these high quality templates, Photoshop templates. You can get motion graphics. The Illustrator ones are super rad. InDesign, I don't really know how to use InDesign, so I just leave it. But it, it really does help. I'm gonna go into these Photoshop templates and see what other kind of things they have. The social media ones are really super cool. And of course, hey, you can get a Shepherd Fairy one. <laughs> and there, here's like a poster mock-up. Here's like a box mock-up. I do like smartmockups.com for actual mock-ups. 
They are really cool. Let's see. Arranged phone. I mean, this could be kind of cool. And then place your design here. You know, this could be pretty cute. I'm going to get this, actually. Um, and then you can put your own original stuff on it. So now when you get something from the library, you can just download it. Wait, moving default library to downloads? Hey, what? What did I do? Manage. My library. Okay. So then you can see what you already got. And it'll show you. I know what you got in the past, which is pretty sweet. So this I'm going to download. Looks like I got that twice. And then you can find similar things, which I think is pretty cute. Oh, and I got this too. These are cute. I'm getting this. Oh, and I'm going to get this too. Oh, I thought I got that already. Hang on a sec. I'm going to get this license and then download download preview no I want the thing that I got I guess I got another download here okay so now I can use these in my Photoshop stuff or Canva or whatever. A lot of these I'll, I'll remove the background in Photoshop and then just bring them into Canva. And look at how cute these are. These are like so adorable. And of course, you know, I have not made them look like this at all. I don't know how you do this. Illustrator really does surprise me, I guess. Texture backgrounds. Yeah, I want that. It's a game over font? Are you kidding me? Yes, I'm getting that. So then I can get these. These are some templates that I already got and they look really cool. Oh, I didn't realize I got this. I'm going to get this for free again. Download for free. What is this for? Social media icon collection. Did I get that? Because somebody who worked for me got this. This is cool. I'm going to get this again. Vector icons. This is Illustrator. This is cute. I, I didn't realize I had that. So these are these are pretty nice. Oh, who are you? Oh my gosh, how cute is this? See, this is another one where it would take a long time to make it look really cool. But I'm going to download it. Oh, I didn't realize I had this. So a lot of them I will just forget. Here's another icon thing. I love this 80s looking one. It's so cute. And then here are some um, some shots that I got for clients. But these are really great and I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's $30 a month and you get really cool stuff. Obviously, I haven't used it, 
as much as I should, but when I go into, I wonder if I can get, let's see, illustrations. And there are patterns too, digital renders, digital artwork. Let's see. Some of it's a little, I don't know, like this matrixy, I guess. Um, all this kind of artwork stuff. I think that looks so cool. And maybe some stuff, maybe you would just want it as wallpaper. Like, that would make a rad wallpaper. And then just have all kinds of stuff. So if I go back into templates and I go to um, social. Oh, goodness. Sorry, you weren't even seeing that? That was not right. That was not right of me. That was just not Okay, so let's see social. Social media. And then all these really cool templates. Let's see the newest, most recent. Like and subscribe. This is for InDesign. But that looks really pretty. The flower ones, that looks really very nice. But InDesign for stories? No. They look so great. Um, one thing I like to look for is stories. And then we'll go to most recent. So then, not Illustrator, I just like, we'll go to Photoshop. And then a lot of these, let's see what this one looks like. These are just posts. They're not stories. Did I get this one already? Let's take a look. I mean, that just looks nice. It's kind of like eye-catching. All right, well, that's about it. Just something cool and a good resource. So then, if I go into Canva, I can show you how I use this. Oh god, I gotta log in. Holy cow. Hang on. getting the login going and then show you all my design stuff I was able to make some cool things because I used this is from Adobe these are stripped down templates from here and uh, this turned out to be pretty cool I mean, the only thing I really didn't like was this coffee cup thing that was, for some reason, when I stopped using Canva Pro, it was like, what? You want a, uh, you want your old files? How could this be? There's like, kind of like a lot of pencil in that, but oh well. Maybe I could have made the elements smaller, but it was fine. Um. Thank you, honey, for making all the suggestions. 
So these were the stories highlights that I ended up using the elements with that I got. It was just like Adobe Illustrator elements that I exported and then I was able to upload them as PNGs and it just looks so cute. It's not the one that I got, but for example, cute, right? And there's like a thumb, thumb drive one. It's cute. I like it. So that's what's what. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. I don't like editing long form videos if I'm not getting paid for it. I know it's, uh, it's just my truth. It's my truth. I prefer to work on bigger projects. If I'm going to take a lot of time, which editing takes, I just would rather go live. Maybe I would have more viewers if I did like a long form edited video. But I'm just like, well, what if nobody watches it? Then I would have edited for hours and then been like, I could have done something with that time. So yeah, I definitely want to like share, share my knowledge, but also have like my own time too. <laughs> I hope that's not cheap. That's just the way I feel. Um... But really, I just like uh, feel very, it's important to me to at least help people with something that is going to make sense. And um, so I appreciate when people watch. Of course. Thank you. That's about all I have right now to, to share. But I just thought that was pretty cool. To wrap it up, Adobe Stock turns out to be a very useful subscription that I appreciate using. You can create in Photoshop, any kind of really inventive stories or illustrator, even uh, uh, even InDesign, if you so choose, bring them into Canva, bring the elements into Canva and it will look really sharp and professional and something very unique, which no one has, has seen before. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there are a lot of cool things that you can end up doing. Thank you for watching, and that is, that's all I have to share today. I sure appreciate you stopping by.
Sanders? Am I still live? How is this? That's so weird. <laughs> 